Hi, my name is John Mordock. I'm the Hemp Program Coordinator with West Virginia Department of Agriculture. The goal of this video is to help producers make a more informed decision to grow a successful hemp crop. So let's talk hemp. Hemp is cannabis that has a 0.3% total THC or less defined by federal law. Before we discuss the list of hemp varieties that were grown in West Virginia during 2019, let's talk about what total THC is and how we calculate it. So let's dig into total THC more. Cannabis naturally produces THCA, which is an acid. That molecule is most highly accumulated in the flower of the female plant. THCA is a non-psychoactive chemical. Our bodies cannot interact with it. But once that carboxyl acid is broken off and it turns into THC, we have endocannabinoid receptors in our body that interact with THC and that is why it is psychoactive. THCA naturally breaks down into THC. This process is called post-decarboxylation. This process can be done in two ways. Through the environment, with interaction with the sun, through heat and light, or by providing a certain amount of heat to that flower material. Both the env environmental interaction with the sun and high amounts of heat break that carboxyl acid off of the THCA and convert that chemical into THC. THCA is a non-psychoactive chemical, but once converted to THC, it is psychoactive. USDA requires that all states calculate total THC. We do that by taking 87% of THCA and adding it to THC to get total THC. Also, Make sure to look at the THCA percent as well as the THC because we add both together to calculate total THC. The list that we're reviewing here is made up of all of the varieties of hemp that we tested in 2019. The list contains the common names of each variety, the highest percent of total THC, the average percent total THC, the number of samples that we took in the field, and the number of samples that tested above 0.3% total THC. When selecting a seed source, make sure that you pay attention to the THCA percent as well as the THC because they are both incorporated in our calculation. The West Virginia Department of Agriculture makes no recommendation of seed variety, but we do encourage you to use this list when making your decision. Once again, my name is John Mordock. And if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me by phone or email. My phone number is 304-558-2212.